Hey there, it's Josh. Um, just wanted to try to give you a couple of quick tips for high intensity interval training since we talked about it a little bit yesterday and I didn't really wanna just type all this out. But you can do it with any type of exercise essentially. The big deal is that you are focusing on high intensity. So it's not just get on the treadmill and go from, you know, a 3.0 miles per hour to 5.0 miles per hour for a few sec for a minute or two and then go that way. It needs to be 85, 90% or more of your maximum heart rate for what's gonna be a relatively short duration because it is super high intensity. You might only be able to go 10, 15 seconds of that. And then the other key thing that people tend to mess up that I, I like and I think the research bears out is that your off period between your intervals needs to be a true rest period where you are actually maybe not sitting down, but at least standing and not doing much of any real activity other than recovering. And you give yourself as much time as you feel like you need in order to do that interval again at that super high intensity. So the mistake I see a lot of people make is they'll do a high intensity interval, but then they'll jog or something else for recovery and then they'll try another high intensity interval after a you know one minute rest or a two minute rest with jogging, but they're not fully recovered. So their next interval that they do has to go way down in intensity because they just can't cover, they just can't get back to that same intensity because they never recovered. So um, I use the elliptical machine, which you can see behind me for some of mine, and I'll get on there and I'll up the ramp to five or six and I'll up the resistance to 11 or 12 and I'll do a 15 or 20 second interval, and then I'll take it all the way back down to stopped, and I'll just stand there on the, on the machine for sometimes two to three minutes just to fully recover, and then crank it up, do another interval, and I might only do four, maybe five of those in a session. It doesn't take a whole lot, but you would just really get that heart rate going at near maximum intensity for that short period, fully recover, do that a few times, and like I said, four or five tends to be sufficient for me. And I've done, I've lost 50 pounds doing it. So, I mean, it does, it does work. But you can do, um, with no equipment, sprinting is the easiest way. If you have a place, you can just go set up a 30-yard sprint on the road out in front of your house and just go do a sprint. Walk all the way back to the starting line. Give it another minute or two to rest. Do that same sprint again. And you can do that five, six times maybe for a short sprint like that. Should be fine. Um, you can do it on the elliptical. I have some battle ropes right there, as you can see. I've got some battle ropes, and I'll do them on the battle ropes. Um, yeah, so, that, I mean, you can really do it with anything, the treadmill, the elliptical, a bike. Uh, whatever you do, it just needs to be super high intensity with a good amount of recovery time in between. Um, and then just do that for a little bit, try to recover. I don't tend to do more than about three days a week of high intensity intervals because they do up your metabolic rate for two to three days after. So you don't need to do them every day. Actually, you don't want to do them every day because they are too high intensity and they can cause some breakdown and some cortisol increases and things that you really don't want. So a couple times a week, three times a week at most, I would, th I would say is all you need to do. Um, but yeah, so that start off with that. If you have more questions, just give me, give me a message and I'll be happy to answer and do whatever I can to help. Thank you.